This is a replication observation of the Fernando force multiplier system. The two wheel weights are connected by a cam system. In this replication I simplified each action so I could observe what was going on. I moved the cam action to the front. We're going to go ahead and move to a different model where we can see this cam action in an exploded view. In this exploded, exploded view of the cam action, we can see if the both wheels are going the same direction, that each wheel, each cam, is making the same amount of turn, keeping in sync. Now we'll put it in the mode where the force multiplier system would work. We'll continue this in a counterclockwise direction while this one goes now in a clockwise, going at different uh, directions in relation to each other. The left is now experiencing a 90 degree change, but if you notice on the right, we went more, perhaps another 45 degrees. So we've maybe made a 135 degree, 140 degree change there while the left did 90. We'll go ahead and pull that over there another 90. And you can see that the right now experienced only about a 45. Go on the left another 90. On the right we experienced maybe another 45. Now things change. The left now experiences the 90 degree change, but you can see that the right bar or the uh, right wheel experiences about 135 degree change. What this is showing that in relation to each other, each wheel is actually traveling at a different speed from the other. We'll do this again. You can see how one speeds up in relation to the other. And if you do it also in sync, you can see that they have the same speed. This may be a reason why the force multiplier force system has this over unit gain. They have the different speed in relation to each other. Each wheel experiences a different speed from the other, causing a push pull between them. The one will be experiencing a push, the next moment it would be experiencing a push or a pull. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the other model, see if we can see the same thing take place. Okay, in this model again, we're going to see if we can see the same effects taking place. Uh, if we're going the same direction, uh, again, you can see that the uh, one has a little bit of slack or sloppiness because it has such a short arc there. It's, but uh, we'll see if we can see the same basic thing taking place. We're going in the same direction, both wheels in relation to each other. Uh, we're keeping about that 90 to 90. There. Okay, now as in the uh, force multiplier system, we'll go different directions. You can see that the left has taken a large turn while the right has taken a smaller turn. We're actually going in different speeds at this time. We'll continue the rotation. And see the change in the speeds. Okay. The uh, vertical weight also experiences this same effect of uh, push and pull, slowing and speeding up. This may be a opening for a new class of mechanical over unity machines, understanding this effect better, uh, experiencing the push, the pull, the give, the take. And uh, so we'll go ahead and start up. You can watch again.